Hi everyone, my name's Jill. Uh, so recently I actually um, started to learn programming after making a career change and um, I'm particularly interested in JavaScript development and so someone challenged me to learn a new part of JavaScript every single day. Uh, so I just thought I would make a short video just to walk through something that I've done today which is just build a really simple uh, Hello World React app. Um, okay, so uh, I'm using Atom, uh, which is quite a good ID. It's pretty customizable. Um, I really like using it. Uh, so I've just made it a simple um, HTML file. And uh, I'm using this script tag here, which is called um, Babel standalone. So uh, that's used to uh, basically um, sort of compile your React app on the fly. So instead of having to use Babel and Webpack to compile your file before you can run it in the browser, um, you just put in your script tag here, type equals text Babel rather than text JavaScript. And it means that it'll compile the, the um, JSX and the ESX so that you can um, just open your file directly in the browser. And then I've also got um, my React and React DOM modules here, which I npm installed um, first of all, and then I've just required them in script tags. Okay, um, so React is quite simple to get your head around in some ways. Um, all you have to do is um, give it a div with an ID that it can sort of target. Um, and then when you render your React element, you tell it the JSX element, which is um, kind of like the HTML syntax that it uses. Um, so you tell it the element that you want to give it and then the um, part of the HTML that you want it to, to target and to change. So uh, in this case, I've given my div, my target div, the ID of container, and then I've said document.getElementById container. So that'll grab that container div and it'll change it with the, the JSX element that I'm giving to it. Okay, so in my script tag, um, I have a function called format name, which takes a person uh, parameter. Um, and what that returns is person.firstName plus a space plus person.lastName. So that's assuming that person is an object with first name and last name uh, keys in it. So here I've made this um, constant variable called user, which is an object with a first name and last name with my name in it. Um, constant um, is, is part of the ES6 syntax. Um, it's kind of like var, but it means that it's an immutable object. So you can't change the user object itself, but you could change the values of user.firstname or user.lastname if you wanted to. Um, and then I've made my JSX element here called element, uh, which is just a simple h1 HTML tag that contains hello and then the person's name. Um, so for that part, I'm using um, a JavaScript injection, just using um, the, the normal curly braces that you use um, a lot in JavaScript. Uh, so you just say format name, which is the function that I defined up here, and then I'm passing this user object into the format name function. So in theory, that should return hello, Jill Robinson. So then to render this, uh, this element in the HTML, you just call on React DOM, um, which gives you access to the DOM in the web browser. So you say React DOM dot render, and then you pass it this element variable, and then document dot get element by ID container, which I explained before, so it gives it the target um, div to, to aim for. So if we go to the browser, you can see here, um, if I reload the page, it says, hello, Jill Robinson. Um, uh, it's a little slow to reload the page at the minute, probably because I'm using the, um, the Cloudflare uh, script tag, which compiles the script on the fly rather than using Webpack and Babel. Um, obviously, you wouldn't do that in production code because it's a lot slower, but it works for our purposes. So um, say you wanted to give just a simple style to this. Um, this H oh, this JSX element, um, you could, for example, put a style tag in here um, and then just ID container H1 and then say font color red or something like that. Um, and then don't forget to put your closing style tag in. 
Um, so then if you reload the page, it changes your font color to red. So it's pretty simple. It's just the same way as you use CSS um, normally in HTML. Um, you just have to remember to put the style tag at the top of the, the HTML um, file rather than at the bottom, otherwise it doesn't work. Um, so then if you wanted to change the name, so say I use my partner's name, um, so it should just change the name on the fly. So um, yeah, that's how you make just a simple hello world type React element and uh, I hope this helps.